Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be on how I contour my face. I guess this would be like an updated version because I did one before, but we all change. Um, so this is my updated and what I do now. So before I start, I don't know if you guys know, you guys probably do because it's kind of old. And for those who don't know, thank God you guys are late babies like me. Um, I'm finally jumping onto the bandwagon. Like I'm so, so, so late. But this is from Benai. It's their banana powder. It's like a translucent powder. Um, it's very luxurious. This is a jet milled powder. So it's very smooth, very silky, very easy to blend. And Kim Kardashian's makeup artist uses this under her eyes that gives her that famous brightness under her eyes, that glow. But after I found out that Kim and K uses this under her eyes, I was like, I'll take two, please. Like, I love Kim K. I think she's super gorgeous. I think she's so pretty. Haters need to back off. This costed me. Is that a word costed? I don't think so. I hear my boyfriend's voice in my head right now saying, you do not know English. So this product cost me, costs. I don't know guys, I'm not really good with my English as you can tell. I was in ESL for the longest time. I failed like English and I'm just not a bright child. Like I swear sometimes I'm like platinum blonde or something, but I'm definitely having one of those moments. Um, this is 85 grams and it was $14 Canadian. Um, really, really great price. This is totally amazing. Like it's so good like you get this will last you a very long time so now i highlight with this so after i put my liquid foundation i set with the powder i go in with this under my eyes i'm gonna show you guys how i do that right now a little demonstration for you guys okay so i have a stainless steel palette and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take a little sponge here here you go a little wedge sponge like this I'm just gonna dump a little bit on this plate. You can do this on the back of your hand if you don't have a plate or just use anything you like that's a flat surface and you don't mind getting it on for at least stainless steel. So I'm gonna put a little bit like that on. Just a little bit. Oh girl, this reminds me of a Saturday night I had and I do not remember a thing. No, I'm just joking, okay? Don't judge me. So here's the product zoomed in. I forgot to show you guys, but it's the Luxury of Benai Banana Powder. Um, the reason why it's called banana is because it has a yellow tint to it, but it's not as bad when you put it on your skin, it's like more transparent. So I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna dab it into the product. I'm just gonna tap off the excess and then I'm just gonna apply under my eyes and just kind of pull it back to my hairline. So let's do this. I don't have a mirror, so I can't really see what I'm doing, girl. Tap, tap, tap. Pat, pat, pat. Girl, we can make a song out of this, you know? You know, tap, 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 pat, 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 blend, blend, blend. So I just go down and I would just pull back to my ear. It's going to create that nice glow under there, that nice highlighted look like that. I look a little bit crazy right now. I swear we're going to figure it all out. So on this side, I have the banana, but I also like to use the fair, which is more of a pink undertone. So if you're Asian or you have like a cool undertone, banana is perfect for you. It's perfect for you if you have darker skin because it's definitely going to pop through. But since I have like a lighter, paler skin, I like to use fair sometimes too. I know it's a little pink, but it blends very well with my skin and it gives me that extra like pop like the extra like glow under my eyes maybe I'll do that on this side just so you guys can see the difference so I have the fair over here so if you have like a warmer skin tone or a pink undertone this is perfect for you they have lots of shades you can probably find this online for a really good deal but I'm gonna do this on the other side to show you guys the comparisons I kind of like this under the eyes because the warm I feel like it helps with you know the bags and the darkness and the blue around my eye area and it definitely helps brightens everything up. So I don't mind. Like for the banana, it definitely blends in with my skin tone. But for fair, I like it if I want to look like, you know, JLo realness. Or, you know, if I want to look like a drag queen one day, then I'll just apply this on. Okay. Now that I've applied my highlights, I'm just going to let it set for like a couple minutes. While I wait, I'm going to use my bronzer. And this is my ultimate favorite bronzer. You guys know that. I use this every single day. Um, the reason why I like it so much is because it's matte. I think for contouring, matte is the best way to go. Um, and also, it has this very like true brown color to it. It's not orangey. It's not, it's not going to have like that streaky, fake orange look on your skin. Uh, this is just a true brown color, and I really like it. So I'm going to go in and contour my cheekbones. 
So to figure out where to apply the bronzer, you just want to feel your face. It's going to be the hollow um, part of your cheeks. So you can feel your face if you don't know and you feel like it's hollow here. So you're just going to apply it and I'm actually just start from the back of the ear and then drag it halfway. So tap off the excess. How far do you go? Just go where the end of your eye is. So just drag it down and blend it. As you can tell while I'm blending it upwards, it's helping blend my highlight in too. So you don't have to blend it at the bottom like that. We applied a bronzer um, just in the hall of our cheeks. I did have makeup on before. I just got home. So I'm kind of putting it on top, but that's okay. You guys can still see it. But I'm just applying my bronzer like that. So now I'm going to go in with my fan brush. And I'm just going to fluff the highlight out. Since it's jet milled, it's very like blendable. It's super lightweight. So I'm just going to fluff a little bit here just to blur the edges under my eyes a little bit and down along the nose. So after that, I like to add a little shimmer to my cheekbones just when I turn and the sun hits my face. So you can see that extra gleaming, like shimmery um, particles on my face. So I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in uh, Soft and Gentle. It's just very nice and has subtle shimmers to it. So I'm gonna add a little bit to my cheekbones like this. Now for the final step, I like to apply my favorite, favorite blush. This is the Max Dainty. It's a super pretty mineral blush. It's really pretty. So I'm going to apply this in between my highlight and my bronzer. So above my bronzer, but not the full under the eye like I do with my highlighter. So I'm just going to do it in the middle right here. And I make sure I go back to my hairline as well. So I'm just going to dab, dab, dab. And then I'm going to blend in circular motion back to my ear. And just above the bronzer and underneath the highlight like that. So just like an in-between that. Do you see that? That's really pretty, right? So there you go. That's my updated tutorial on how I highlight, contour, and blush my face. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I know a lot of girls out there who don't do their makeup on a daily basis and they don't know how to do this. That's fine. Don't be embarrassed. I'm here to help you. So I hope you guys found that helpful, but let's mail time. Okay, so I'm going to open this mail real quick. This is from, I don't even know, girl, you got a messy writing, but, oh. <sighs> is this real? This can't be real. No, this can't be real. No way. I'm like turning red. I don't know if you guys can see my ears or not, but like... What? Is there anything on this? Shut up right now. Aw, you guys are so sweet. Hey, Julie. American... Oh, girl, I'm so sorry. I can't read your writing. Okay, I think I figured it out. Hey, Julie, American living and working in Kuwait, Kuwait. Here are your videos. You take amazing photos. Happy holidays. Michael, Mich I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Can someone tell me who that? So apparently I got Victoria's Secret gift cards. Like, this is not a joke, is it? Like, there better be something on here or else I'm gonna like, I'm gonna hate you, okay? Because you just got my hopes up. Thank you! Thank you, Ray Quinn. This is a very personal message, but very sweet. Last but not least, let's check this one out. It's three reasons why Julie is amazing. Number one, she is so strong emotionally. Number two, she is so sweet and funny. Number three, she is so beautiful. I'm super jealous. Aw, you're so cute. Thank you, Catherine Gray. You're so sweet. I absolutely love your letter. I'm going to read this all in like two minutes. I love you guys. You guys are so sweet. Thanks for writing to me. I didn't have time to read everything, but I did pick three random letters. So thank you guys for writing to me. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Thanks for donating to my eagle jar and making me feel happy about myself. Uh, mwah.